All right, we are talking about one of my favorite topics and that is camera bags. This right here is the ultra compact Ona Bond Street. Let's get right into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Desmond. I make content about camera, tech, travel, and lifestyle gear. And we are talking about something that kind of covers a lot of those bases. This is my new everyday minimal camera bag. This is the Ona Bond Street. So in this video, we're gonna talk all about this compact camera bag. One of my new acquisitions and probably growing to be one of my favorite new bags. The reason why I really enjoy this bag is because of its unique size and form factor, pretty different than some of the bags I've reviewed on this channel before, and the size happens to fit my lifestyle now. So let's talk about the Ona Bond Street. This right here is a beautiful bag from the company Ona, and if you've seen my channel before, I've reviewed a couple of bags from them. One is my Rockaway Sling, which I really enjoy, and the other is my Ona Bowery, which is more of a classic Ona bag that was released quite a long time ago. I don't use that as much, but now with the Ona Bond Street, I find myself reaching for an Ona bag more often than not. So let's talk about a few things that make this particular bag special and make it different than some of the other camera bags that I have. So let's just get into the Bond Street and start talking about the bag itself. This is made from high quality full grain leather. And as you can see here, this is the dark truffle leather colorway. I really like this much darker matte like finish. And like most Ona bags, you have pretty high quality brass finishing here. I will say that Ona is doing away with brass. It's kind of an expensive material to source. So the new versions of Ona bags will not be using brass hardware. But as you can tell here, this version that I picked up recently still has high quality brass hardware. I really enjoy this. I think the color complements this dark truffle leather really, really well. So as you can see, this is a pretty classic and simple design. You have the entire bag made of that full grain dark truffle leather. You've got the brass hardware here with a buckle that allows you to open and close the bag. And then you've got a couple of accents, brass hardware all around. The strap is secured by these clips. And then you have four external pockets. So let me just open this up and walk you around the bag. You've got one large pocket here. Let's just go ahead and take a look. I've got a lens cap in there. You can throw anything for the most part into this large front pocket. You have a side pocket. You have a back pocket, reaches mostly down the length of the bag and then another side pocket on this side. So that's mostly it for the external pockets of this bag. I will give you a quick look. This is the large internal pocket. This is where the camera goes. Other than that, it's a pretty simple and functional design. Like I said, one of the reasons why I like this bag and have been reaching it for it more often is because of its unique shape. This is a bit more elongated than a classic uh, camera bag, which tends to be a little bit more wide. And I like the way this carries. So again, taking a look here, this is a pretty small bag and I'll show you what I carry in here. I tend to use this as a one camera carry option. So for me, when I'm traveling and I want to bring one large mirrorless body with a zoom lens, this is the bag I go for. Or when I want to bring my Leica Q2 out and a couple of other accessories, this is also the bag I reach for. Now looking inside, you can tell you don't really have much additional room. So if you want to do a two lens loadout, probably not going to be the most functional. I have other bags for that. I have the Ona Bowery, which is great for a mirrorless camera body, a zoom lens, and one additional lens. I've got the Ona Rockaway. Uh, which also holds a lot more gear. But if you want something that's small and holds just the right amount, a single body and lens combo, this has been great. Now, before I show you what I can pack in the Bond Street bag, I wanna first talk about our sponsor and that is Cuts Clothing. Now it's the month of November and on November 10th, Cuts kicked off their Black Friday sale. You're going to get a ton of value, especially from the selection that they have this year. One of my favorite things, especially for the colder months, has been these new Sherpa jackets. You can see here, I have this beautiful Cuts Sherpa jacket in this great green, perfect for the elements, perfect for these colder months. So I would highly recommend checking out the website 
between 25 and 50% off all of their different products, including t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts, their joggers, their sweatpants are probably some of my favorite products and some of the outerwear like the Sherpa jacket right here. Now back to the Bond Street, let's take a look. I'm gonna open this up and let's just go ahead and start with this. So this right here, I'm actually testing this. This is the Sony a7 IV. Sony did send this over, which is really cool. And again, thanks to a lot of you watching for making this possible. But I have the a7 IV, and I also have the new 24 to 70 G Master Mark II. We're gonna go ahead and take this relatively large setup and place it right into the Bond Street. So let me flip this over and give you a look. So we've got the entire camera in. All right, and that is the a7 IV with the 24 to 70 G Master Mark II. Again, opens out really well. You can pull this right out of the bag and start shooting with it. And this is probably one of my most common setups. I obviously use the a7R4 and the 24 to 70 G Master Mark II, but it's about the same size. And for something like this, it's a good do everything, go anywhere setup. So that fits right into the Ona Bond Street really well. In the past, I used to use my Peak Design three liter sling, but I actually find this to be a more elegant, stylish uh, alternative to the Peak Design bag. Now this size camera, this right here is my Leica Q2. This is probably what the Bond Street was really made for. Again, the Bond Street comes with another divider, which I took out to fit the larger camera, but you can see here that a Leica fits in incredibly easy. You also have additional space to the left or the right and vertically. What I'm imagining is Leica or Fuji shooters. Imagine like the Leica M series with a couple of tiny Leica lenses. Those would fit really well into a camera like this. If you're a Fuji film shooter, you can use one of the Fuji X100s. Those will also fit pretty well. What I normally do here is take my Leica setup, toss this in here, and maybe I'd company it with a Sony ZV-1 or any of my action cameras to supplement for video. And then you've got a pretty solid loadout. I've got photography set, I've got videography basically set. And here's the Bond Street with the Leica Q2 inside closed. Like I said, it looks about the same. A bag like this made from this leather holds its structure pretty well. So you're not going to see a lot of like warping when you fill it up. So finally, let's talk price. The Ona Bond Street in the all leather retails for $289. Now in the wax canvas, it'll retail for $189. Honestly, that's pretty expensive. It's tough to recommend a bag like this to a lot of people, especially the Bond Street. If you take a look, this is a pretty unique size. It's small and it only holds so much gear. So it's tough to say that this is a high value purchase because one, you're mostly paying for the materials. It's really high quality leather. The brass is great. The aesthetic looks great, but functionally not a lot to be desired. So for something like this at $289, I can't really recommend purchasing this unless you love the aesthetic. Like I said, it's a matter of materials and design. Other than that, if you want to hold anything larger than a Fuji or a Leica system, you're just going to use up the entire volume of the bag for a single camera body and lens combo. The wax canvas version coming in at $189, maybe I could stomach that, but honestly, I didn't love a lot of the colorways. I was a big fan of this dark truffle leather color. So I think for most of you watching, this bag is probably too expensive and it's not gonna be worth the money you're spending. For others, if you are a big fan of Ona, if you like the leather construction, the brass, and the way that it looks, you're not gonna find another camera bag on the market that meets these design criteria, right? So there aren't that many options that look like this, that look this great, that are built this well but for good reason, because this is expensive in my opinion and probably not worth the price. So it tends to be a challenge. If you love it, 
sure, buy it. If you don't love it, do not spend the money. There are better options out there for less. They may not look exactly the same, but they will hold your camera very well. All right, and that is it for this review. If you like this content, hit that like button, subscribe for more videos just like this. I will catch y'all in the next one. Thank you.